Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Athletics Association and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace today in the presence of the commander in chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad presented to His Majesty the Kingdom's sporting achievements as well as the members of the Bahrain national handball team who has achieved the first ever qualifications for the Olympic Games. After that, the winners of the honours proceeded to greet His Majesty the King. Their Highnesses also presented the athletes and competitors from the Military World Games who won gold medals as well as the title of champions in the football competition in China. The athletics teams who won several medals and occupied 8th place in an international ranking that included 120 countries. Also present were Bahrain's teams that participated in the 6th round for women's sports in the GCC countries which was held in Kuwait where Bahrain won the highest number of gold medals totaling 30. Six. Their Highnesses presented the special needs athletics team as well as athletes who represented Bahrain in volleyball, basketball, fencing, table tennis, taekwondo, indoor football athletics as well as the popular sports team who won first place in a number of competitions including one in Dubai for rowing boats. Their Highnesses also presented gold medal winners from the international His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Cup for rowing, the Arab Sailing Tournament in Egypt, the Chess Tournament in Kuwait where Bahrain is the International Mortal Kombat Tournament in Brazil and the snooker competition in Egypt where Bahrain is won gold.
After that, verses from the Holy Quran were recited. الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته خير ما نبدأ به تلاوة عطرة من القرآن الكريم يتلوها على ما سمعنا القارئ علي صلاح عمر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين يتلون كتاب الله وأقاموا الصلاة وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية يرجون تجارة لن تبور ليوفيهم أجورهم ويزيدهم من فضله إنه غفور شكور والذي أوحينا إليك من الكتاب هو الحق مصدقا لما بين يديه إن الله بعباده لخبير بصير ثم أورثنا الكتاب الذي نصطفينا من عبادنا فمنهم ظالم لنفسه ومنهم مقتصد ومنهم سابق بالخيرات بإذن الله ذلك هو الفضل الكبير جنات عدن يدخلونها يحلون فيها من أساور من ذهب ولؤلؤا ولباسهم فيها حرير وقالوا الحمد لله الذي أذهب عنا الحزن إن ربنا لغفور شكور الذي أحلنا دار المقامة من فضله لا يمسنا فيها نصب لا يمسنا فيها نصب ولا يمسنا فيها لغوب صدق الله العظيم كلمة اسمه الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة ممثل جلالة الملك للأعمال الخيرية وشؤون الشباب رئيس المجلس الأعلى للشباب والرياضة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة Then His Highness Sheikh Nasser delivered a speech in which he highlighted His Majesty's support to sports stating that he aspires to reciprocate during His Majesty's era He affirmed that the athletes fulfilled the promise of making the year of 2018 the year of gold adding that the number of medals have increased this year and he asked permission to call this year the golden era which stems from the spirit of His Majesty the King instilled in athletes His Highness Sheikh Nasser also highlighted the determination of the athletes to reach the highest levels. His Highness pledged that he and the athletes will continue to make achievements during the golden era, affirming that the spirit His Majesty instilled will firmly remain and will continue from one generation to the other. <laughs> وشفنا منكم التقدم وشفنا منكم الإقدام 
وشفنا منكم الإحجام شفنا منكم الشجاعة شفنا منكم الرحمة شفنا الكثير وتعلمنا الكثير منكم يا صاحب الجلالة بالنسبة لنا في عالم الرياضي ولا إحنا نسميه الأسرة الرياضية والبيت الرياضي إلا أن إحنا نبي نقدم لعصركم هذا الزاهي القليل من هالجمايل اللي جملتونا بها إحنا اليوم يا صاحب الجلالة استاذناكم في عام 2018 بإطلاق هذا العام بعام الذهب ولله الحمد هالجنود اللي أمامكم أوفوا بالوعد ولا خذلوا علمهم لا في داخل المملكة ولا في خارجها وبعدين يا طويل العمر شفنا في 2019 في نهاية هذا العام الحين إحنا واصلين إلى نهايته بإذن الله تبينت الأرقام أن إحنا طفنا تعداد الميداليات عام 2018 فإحنا يا صاحب الجلالة نستاذنكم أن إحنا نسمي هذا المسمى بالعصر الذهبي وهذا يا طويل العمر يوصف الروح اللي أنتوا غرستوها اللي أنتوا تبغون تشوفون أبنائكم وبناتكم مو بس في العالم الرياضي ولكن أسرة مملكة البحرين أسرة واحدة شعب متكاتف شعب متماسك قلبه على ديرته أكبر مثال الريال اللي علي صار هني سعد مهدي مهدي الله طول عمرك قام بدور بطولي بما أن أبوه الله يرحمه توفى واختاره الله يوم قبل البطولة إلا أن أصر ويروح ويشارك عشان يرفع اسم مملكة البحرين اللي يمه قام بعملية <تصفيق> لاعب نطاع عمرك حارس المنتخب قام بعملية لاعب هناك رجله مكسورة وغيرها وكثير من اللاعبين يشكون من آلام لكن طويل العمر الغير الرياضي ما يشوف هالأشياء ذي غير الرياضي يشوف اثنين أو ثلاثة على منصة التتويج محصلين ميداليات ما يعرفون اللي تحت هذا الجهد وش خذ منهم وش خذ من يومهم من طاقتهم من مالهم ومن يومهم ومن حياتهم بشكل كامل من جهد وصرار وعزيمة بشكل يومي عشان يوصلون المستوى وأن يحظون بالشرف أنهم يشوفون جلالتك ويوقفون حاملين ميداليات ليست بالمستوى المحلي بل حطوا مملكة البحرين على الخارطة بشكل كامل فإحنا يا طويل العمر إذا بتخلوني أتكلم يمكن يخيم علينا الليل وأنا أوصف طال عمرك بهالجماعة لأني أعرف طال عمرك وأعرف التعب هذا لأني أنا منهم وفيهم ولكن طال عمرك هالجماعة عند وجهك إن شاء الله وهذا العصر الذهبي راح يتواصل ابنا ولا بغيرنا يا طويل العمر أبهم ولا بهالصغار اللي يو وسلموا عليك عندنا صفوف ثانية وثالثة ورابعة وأمية إن شاء الله أنهم بيشرفونك وهذه الروح اللي غرستوها يا طويل العمر هي ثابتة لأن هالرياضيين وهالرياضيات اللي موجودين عندنا هم بنفسهم طال عمرك يوردون هذه الرسالة لغيرهم هم بنفسهم الحين يربون صغارنا هم بنفسهم اللي بيصيرون المدربين عندنا هم بنفسهم اللي بيصيرون مسؤولين في عالم الرياضي ولا شك يا طويل العمر أن الجهد بعد يكون موصول من مسؤولين العالم الرياضي سواء كانوا في اللجنة الأولمبية ولا في وزارة الشباب والرياضة ولا في جميع قطاعات الدولة أسندوا وساعدوا وساهموا وأشرفوا على أن نحن نوصل هذا المستوى فيطول العمر وصلنا في نهاية هذه الكلمة أريد أن أختصر طول العمر وأعلمكم شيء بس واحد من هالغرس اللي إحنا نغرسه صار بين هالشباب هذيلا كلهم يمكن يردون وراي صار عندهم مقولة مشهورة صارت اقتبسوها مني وكل ما فازوا أنا بقول نصهم بيكملون الباقي ما للزعامة الله يطول عمرك شكرا يا سيدي His Highness Sheikh Nasser then presented a souvenir to His Majesty the King to mark the occasion and then His Majesty the King gave a speech in which he addressed the winners and congratulated them. In his speech, His Majesty also said that the positive results reflect the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in supporting Bahrainis in these fields and that this is not a new development because Bahraini competitors have always been outstanding on the regional level. مبروكين مرة أخرى على النتائج الطيبة ناصر ما خلى 
بين في كلمته الجهود الكبيرة اللي بذلتوها هذا مو قريب عليكم فالحمد لله يعني أصبحت أهل الريادة في في منطقتنا فمشكوري مشكوري His Majesty praised the spirit of determination among Bahrainis through which they proved their superiority in various competitive games by deservedly winning many honors. His Majesty thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid for their efforts in further developing Bahrainis standing in the field of sports as this has been reflected across all sports. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the role of the BDF for its keen support for military sports and he singled out military athletes for praising for the positive results they have achieved in various sports. His Majesty also thanked the various federations and various technical and administrative bureaus, which His Majesty said have played a crucial role in the success of Bahraini competitors. His Majesty also highlighted the role of Bahraini women in supporting the national sports scene and their keen interest in reinforcing Bahraini's reputation on the international stage. For their part, the present athletes and competitors express thanks and appreciation for the support and encouragement they have enjoyed from His Majesty the King and have promised him to achieve further victories in future competitions. They also thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid for their support and encouragement and for offering them every facility to make their successes possible. His Royal Highness, the, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness, Prince, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika said that the decisions taken during the cabinet session that His Royal Highness chaired completed the national model for the integration of the needs of Bahraini women. Her Royal Highness hailed the Cabinet's efforts to reinforce the advancement of Bahraini women in all fields. The decisions also completed the requirements for the model's adoption as an official mechanism to promote equal opportunities and balancing the genders in the development process. Her Royal Highness highlighted that these distinguished decisions have translated His Majesty the King's directives to enhance development policies. The SCW President emphasized the Council's gratitude for His Royal Highness Crown Prince's support in implementing various measures to promote women's empowerment. She also highlighted the Cabinet's approval of the results of the 2017-18 to National Gender Balance Report as a mechanism to measure the competitiveness of Bahraini women in the public sector and their level of participation in the national economy. Her Royal Highness Princess Abika noted that this is the first policy of its kind in the Arab region for which the Council is grateful. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a reply cable in which he noted that the decisions seek to empower Bahraini women in all fields domestically, regionally and internationally so that they can contribute to Bahrain's development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He said that the SCW plays a vital role under the leadership of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika and the empowerment of women. His Royal Highness added that Bahraini women's achievements became possible thanks to Her, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika keen support in providing them with opportunities for success. The Representatives Council held its weekly session today, praised, presided over by its speaker, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal. The council approved a proposal regarding building places of worship within the Demistan housing project. It also approved a proposal on determining the school hours for primary schools from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and the rest of the school stages from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. They also approved a proposal on developing the citizenship curriculum in Bahrain schools and a proposal on building a secondary school for girls in Demistan. The council also approved a proposal on dispersing bonuses and arrears to national players and trainers in clubs. The referral of around 70 proposals to the government was also approved. The council approved including a proposal on the council's agenda stipulating that the sale site of Bahraini citizens should not be removed and barred by the municipality or any other authority without providing them with compensation. The council also approved forming the Permanent Human Rights Committee. 
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, received Kuwait's National D1 for Human Rights Delegation, led by Chairman Jasim Al Barki. Saleh stressed that GCC leaders are keen on enhancing human rights, which affirms the level of development reached in the Gulf society. He praised the efforts of the national institutions in this regard and affirmed that this attention to human rights is the basis for the success of development projects. Al Saleh expressed pride in the historic relations between Bahrain and Kuwait. He held the firm stance of Kuwait towards Bahrain and its keenness of both leaders to achieve further progress and prosperity for the two countries and their people. The delegation praised the role of the Shura Council in enhancing the bilateral relations and enhancing the cooperation in the field of human rights. Under the patronage of the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the ASIS Middle East, the American Society for Industrial Security 2019 conference and exhibition was inaugurated yesterday. The event was attended by the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Interior Minister and Secretary of Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, Chief of Public Security, Interior Minister Under Secretary, Capital Governor and Chief Executive of Information and E-Government Authority. Held under the theme Industrial Revolution for Enabling Security, the event attracts decision makers, business leaders and experts in industrial security. The conference is an opportunity to highlight the latest technologies in security. The Interior Minister hailed the competency and readiness of Saudi Aramco, expressing appreciation to the professional steps taken while dealing with the attacks on the Abqaiq and Khreis plants in Saudi Arabia. He said that the incident showed the capability to deal with such opportunities operations and was an opportunity to form a joint work team with Aramco for cooperation and to benefit from the implemented procedures. He added that the event was a gathering for experts in industrial security and general safety. He said that oil sites and establishments were targeted in the region, therefore training and learning about successful regional and international experiences and expertise should continue for better tackling of emergencies, wishing everyone success. Aramco executive Director of Safety and Industrial Security, Ali Zahrani, welcomed Interior Minister and hailed his crucial role in supporting such professional events. He also expressed thanks to the Oil Minister for his support. He said that Bahrain was the first choice for hosting such an event in the region, adding that the conference was unique to promote regional security. The Oil Minister delivered a speech in which he hailed the swift response of Aramco in dealing with the attack. He said that the quick steps contributed to prevent the hiking of oil prices. He honored the organizers of the conference, noting that the kingdom was dedicated to encouraging global safety events. The interior minister and oil minister toured the exhibition and learned about the latest industrial security and safety technologies. The Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, delivered a speech at the 18th session of the General Conference of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, the UNIDO, in which he affirmed the strong and historic relations that bind Bahrain and the UAE through cooperation in all fields that date back to the era of the late Sheikh Zayed Al Nahyan. The UNIDO is hosted by the UAE with the participation of more than 800 ministers and officials from 170 countries. As Highness said that Bahrain is moving in parallel with the UAE towards promoting sustainable development and upgrading industrial development, stating that in 1996, the first UNIDO Investment and Technology Promotion Office was opened in the kingdom. And in 2000, the Arab International Center for Entrepreneurship and Investment was also opened in Bahrain, leading to fruitful prospects that made the kingdom an international model in the enterprise development and investment promotion program noting that such experience is currently being implemented in 52 countries around the world. Sheikh Faisal announced the launch of the third edition of the Global Forum to Support Entrepreneurs 2019, hosted by Bahrain under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa from the 11th to the 13th of November in conjunction with the 18th Annual Summit of Arab Investors entitled Achieving Sustainable Development Goals Through Entrepreneurship, Innovation and Investment in the Fourth Industrial Revolution and the digital economy. He pointed out that he is looking forward to meeting 500 participants from different countries of the world, representing many international companies, investors, 
financiers and experts. As Hana Sheikh Faisal concluded his speech with a part of His Majesty's letter to the Director General of UNIDO, Lee Young, on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of UNIDO in 2016. His Majesty asserted Bahrain's pride of the long and fruitful partnership with UNIDO and the tangible benefits that his, this collaboration continues to bring to the lives of millions of people worldwide. Young also delivered a speech at the conference in which he praised His Majesty the King's support for the UN program aimed at achieving comprehensive and sustainable industrial development. He stressed that Bahrain, under the leadership and support of His Majesty the King, has witnessed a leap during the past decade in the field of industrial development and sustainable development at the local and international levels. Information and Electronic Government Authority, in cooperation with the Economic Development Board and World Economic Forum, held today an artificial intelligence AI workshop as Bahrain was chosen by World Economic Forum to pilot new guidelines for the procurement of AI in the public sector. More in this report with Heba Abdel Ghaffar. The World Economic Forum organized a workshop in Bahrain to discuss the future of public procurement of artificial intelligence in partnership with Bahrain Economic Development Board and Bahrain's Information and E-Government Authority. Following His Majesty King uh, Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa uh, that gave the government the directions to uh, develop uh, plans and strategies in AI, we are in the process of uh, develop developing these strategies. As usual, Bahrain always been a pioneer in the digital economy, and uh, it's very important to work with the World Economic Forum and their guidelines and trying to implement it as one of the use cases in the procurement uh, process in the government uh, to learn from these uh, guidelines uh, through the implementations and try to develop our strategies according to the outcomes that uh, will come out of this workshop. The workshop came after the World Economic Forum annual meeting of the new champions in China, where during the major global event, the World Economic Forum announced that Bahrain is selected to pilot new guidelines for the procurement of artificial intelligence in the public sector. Produced by the World Economic Forum Center for the Fourth Industrial Revolution. This is one of the projects that is front and center of our artificial intelligence and machine learning platform. and. This is actually a unique position where we can pilot some of our policy proposals and with the strong cooperation of the government here and uh, also private sector entities, we're looking forward to learning a great deal from how these guidelines will work in practice. The two-day workshop brings together Bahrain government stakeholders, entrepreneurs and experts to identify key opportunities and challenges for the high-tech industry. The sessions also help to gather evidence and feedback on the guidelines for artificial intelligence procurement in the public sector and develop a roadmap to advance this goal among the government of Bahrain. Bahrain takes the lead in testing the instructions of application and integration of artificial intelligence in the public sector. And today a workshop is conducted gathering all stakeholders to ensure its success. Hiva Abdul Bahrain International.